Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. So let's chat a little bit. So I think we're nearing the end of this particular playthrough. Welcome, Dango. I think we have, uh, what is it? Two Benevidons, bonus side content based off the character we selected, and that's it. So it's maybe likely I'll beat it tonight if I sit down and do a solid session. So I guess we'll do it. And from there, I definitely want to hear the chat if they want to see another playthrough with another set of characters or move on to the next Mana series. I will leave it in your hands. Anyway, let's go ahead and boot up the game. Pause that, switch into full screen. Welcome in parameter. So yeah, we'll, we'll decide. It'll be, I'll, I'll put it down to a chat vote, I think at the end. Make sure I don't have PSO controls on or oh, that's gonna be very awkward. Windows update, turning off my controller yet again. I've been trolled twice in the same playthrough. Trials of mana. I'm like, start. A, B, start. Start, A, B, start, start. <laughs> I was like, why is it going? There we go. I figured it out. What's a chat vote? Whether chat wants to see another run of Trials of Mana or go for the next Mana game. Technically, there's a set of bosses we have not seen in the updated version. I think either way, at some point, I'll try to grab the Salamando voice clip. That might be for tomorrow. Head to Peta. Oh, okay. I vaguely recall what we were doing. So we need to be told where the... Dark Bedevadon is. So in order to do so, we gotta go to the place that's lost in time. I still find it really awkward that the merchants still talk about Peta, even though you can't do anything in Jungle Visions at that point. I still don't like that. So let it be known, Chad. I really, really dislike that they're like, why don't you check this place out for good gear? I heard it's really great. And then you can't do anything until the story lets you come here. I'm like, then why, why tell me about it still? Why did they leave that in the game? There's nothing here. Are you sure this is where Peta is supposed to be? It should be here. Huh. Maybe we should rest somewhere before we search. Welcome. Here we go. We're going to sleep in the not at all mysterious inn. chat. Peta looks different. Welcome, Guardian Angel. Hope you're doing well. What? What happened? Everything is different. This city is as strange as I heard. I bet we can find a lead on the Benevadon of Darkness here. Okay, so we should be at 46 and we're at 46. That's all I wanted to know. I know, Angel Angela's such a likable character, chat. I don't know what you're talking about. She's clearly the best character. Where was the cactus? I thought the cactus was like around here somewhere. Is it just on the ground floor? Eek eek chat. Hmm.
We will find the cactus before we do anything else. Oh, is it on the other wall, actually? Yeah, there it is. There it is. That was a heck of a line read. It was something. So only have a couple left, and then the game breaks. So yeah, chat, we'll have an honest discussion as to what we will do after we're done with this playthrough. In terms of what entertains the chat. Eek chat. Uh, so we need to see the monostone prophecy in order to advance the plot, so let's just do the bare minimum here. This stone tablet contains the goddess's prophecy about the world's end. You can't read it. Fine. I will interpret the text for you. The world will fall to ruin. The tree will wither. The sword will be corrupted and despair will reign in the dragon's domain. But three heroes... The rest of the stone was broken off. I'm sure it further describes the world's destruction at the dragon's hand. But we needn't worry yet. The Prince of Volsena and his Golden Knight are on their way to drive the dragons out. The Dragon Lord stands no chance. Uh, since the prophecy said three heroes, it probably wasn't even talking about the Dragon Lord. His Highness is suiting up as we speak, you know. Here we go, Chan. But three heroes, dot dot dot. That'll fill us with confidence. Dad? Dad, is that you? You can't go off to fight the Dragon Lord! <laughs> Whoa! Calm down. My son is only five years old. Hmm. Oh, you do look familiar. I hope my son grows into a fine man like you someday. And your highness, preparations are ready. Let us be off to the Dragon Lord's lair in Dragon's Maw. Agreed. Dad! The <laughs> resemblance is all in the hair. You're not wrong, chat. I guess father's gonna bite the dust. Welcome. Take a look. Come again. And again, yet another store where I can't really purchase any shields. What a weird choice. Give your character like an optional held item and then know where to buy it. What interest ya? I guess I'll buy an upgrade for her. She's the only one that hasn't found one. I don't even need to sell items at this point. I think we're good. Not Papa needs a haircut. Yeah, exactly. I like to think his whole family just doesn't know what a barber is. Oh, well, yes, I am a man of stone scholar. <clears throat> there were once eight man of stones, but alas, with the dark stone lost, there are only seven. However, after exhaustive research, I have concluded that the Dark Stone could be around Dragon's Maw. Most likely in Crystal Desert. That, limps, that lip sync in particular is bothering me. What is he doing with his lips? Now we know where to head next. Okay. Looks like we're heading to Crystal Desert. So from this point onwards, this is unique to the party of three that we have. So because we've chosen Angela, we now get access to the Crystal Desert. Durin says, well, that's weird. Everything was run down until we fell asleep. Wonder what happened. Eek indeed. Wait a second. How did this town get here? Everyone seems so busy all of a sudden. Anyway. Take that, time travel city. We're just going to fly out of here. I'm sure the place that's really scared of dragons will appreciate appreciate us summoning Flammy. <laughs> right, chat? We definitely won't spook the inhabitants.
Rinlock's doing an old and destroyed you by Dad is here. What happened? This is the last one. I heard it, chat. It's the last one. Time to go to the last one, chat. Flammy's too cute to cu too cute to spook anybody. Maybe. So yeah, this is brand new dungeon. We haven't seen this in either version of the game. Oh no, come on. Robots, really? Ugh. Okay, well that's not my favorite enemy type. We're gonna try not to fight those. Unless I just feel like killing our party. The place the Mana Stone Scholar mentioned? Hurry up, Angela. We gotta find that Dark Stone. Once that Benevidon's out of the picture, we're going after the Crimson Wizard. Of course! We are unstoppable if we work together. Don't you disappoint me, Duran. Question. Will this turn off? Okay, it won't turn it off. I wasn't sure if fighting them would help. Looks like the answer is no. Nice try, game. Fine, then. Here I go. This looks like an absolutely atrocious battle. Hmm. Lots of one way sand piles. Definitely makes combat kind of annoying. See if this does what I need it to do. Oh, can we not just simply jump down there? Why? What, why? Why can I not jump down here? I see the path. That's unfortunate. Hmm. And ninjas? Oh, this area sucks, chat. Oh. Oh, that sucks you into the game real fast. That's unfortunate. I didn't get to explore the rest of the area. Oh, there's a little cactus at least. That's good, because I had no idea where this one was. There's just two more, Chan. Well, so much for all the items out there. There we go. I'm just gonna bully my way out of there. I'm not gonna waste any more time. And it put me up here. Interesting. I don't even think it's worth checking any chests at this point. But I guess in theory I could. Oh, that was rude. Bonk. Another class seed, not bad. There we go, this is for chat. The bonk is coming, chat. We'll let him see. That's okay. Wow, the enemy spawn rate is insane. They already respawned. 
My chan, I was bare I was barely away from this area and they respawn. That's crazy. I don't know if I like that. Oh, there's another one? Oh. I guess I should have checked the map. Well, that's what we call very fortunate. I forgot there's two in this area. Very, very fortunate. I'm assuming that's all of them. Is there anything I could clip off of here? Well, can I clip on top of an ally? That might be useful. Oh, did you see that advanced strat? Hey, Kirk. Oh, did you see that? That was sick. Come on, Chad. Give me props on that one. I pushed our ally into distance so I could boost off of them. That was so sick. I don't know. How are you supposed to get this treasure normally? Honest question. Is this supposed to go up the other side? Well, that's how we got it, right, Chad? That's all I need. That's all I know. That was such a sick boost. I guess I could do that in the future for mini boosts. Maybe I could just use allies to get unintended height. So like if I'm in the corner here. It's kind of difficult to do. Cause they have to be like in the way, but not in the way. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that was just really specific to the angle. Oh, that's unfortunate. Might be worth exploring in the future. Oh, is it not letting me go back this way? Or wait, nope, nope. Take that one way. Never mind, we denied it. I don't know if you're intended to go backwards once you go there. Actually, humor me for a second. So normally this is pretty fast, right? If I kill these enemies, is it possible to go up the wrong way? You might as well test it real quick. The worst thing that happens is I backtrack slightly. Oh, you can see the camera freak out. Oh, yeah, there might be something here that stops you explicitly from doing it. Unless... I use you to get the boost. No, might not be possible. So you can see the camera, like, freaks out and twitches. Okay, so they did put in some anti... Jump tech measurements. That's unfortunate. I don't feel like figuring out. This one's much easier to get past comparatively, as you can see. I don't think there's anything I can boost on. No. I'm looking for any kind of like divot in the wall. That looks like I can exploit it. Okay, so I can skip going in the cave there if I don't want to. Which is interesting. So I don't know if that's intended, but we bypassed it. Uh, let's go... Can I... I get stuck on something like this. Okay, we're go we're going up the wrong way. I don't think that was into oh day night cycle, please. <sighs> Trolling trolled again. So I did get that item out of order for sure. Unfortunately, our allies don't know how to do the same trick. 
So I don't think I could use them to boost. Yeah, there's like an invisible... Like an invisible point, point on the floor where if I cross it, it stops me from jumping. If I could get past the crystal on the left side here and perch there, I bet I could probably do it. Yeah, see our allies don't know how to go up that way either. Okay, so I think that was unintended to go backwards to get that item. Unfortunate they put in jump tech. They should have let you go up the wrong way. Okay, I should almost level up. There's like a little cave over here. Oh, or not. Is this a one-way entrance? What is this? How very suspicious to just have a cave where I can't do anything with it. If only I could tumble past that. Yeah, I'm not sure if we could really clip out of bounds here. We don't have, really, like, any trees or, like, really good rocks, if that makes sense. Oh, and those damage you, apparently. That's cute. Oh, this should hit three targets, maybe? Three targets. That should be a level up. Nice. Uh, her stats don't matter. <clears throat> I think we were learning spirit for Feated Breath. In theory, we might get this before the end of the game. So we gave her a more powerful summon spell, if nothing else. And you were just learning in up for magic boost. So we could probably get that right before the end of the game. That might be semi-relevant in our playthrough. Be fair on walnuts is pretty good. There we go. Nice and simple. I do want to fight to level Charlotte before the next boss. That was a nasty power strike. I killed four targets one swing. That was nasty. Um. So yeah, so she's almost there, so she'll learn Feated Breath for the final boss. Potentially lowering magic defense could be useful. And if it doesn't work, I have the other ability anyway. As a reminder, I still have three items to lower defenses. I might use one on this boss. Although, from what I remember, there are multiple targets here. Well, this feels kind of hard to dodge spells on. I don't blame our allies on this one. This is actually pretty annoying. Hit me off of this floor. There we go. Let's get a full heal. So I'm hoping the resistance to magic that I think Angela has will carry her through the boss battle. As a reminder, She's probably going to get one shot every single time we do something.
Yeah, so we're lowering their magic defense. If we hit their elemental weakness, we do more. Some of damage is up. 10% um, generic, more healing. I think that covers us pretty well. We have it that whenever we take damage, we do more damage. So we might get hit on purpose a couple times. Otherwise, I could technically wear one of these other abilities. Hmm. What are our items currently? Do we have the light set up? No. Let's go set that up so that we're ready for a good boss. I might hold this for later. But the next time we do a boss, we have to take that, I think. Let's do light element. We have light dark. We already have magic defense. I could do the one that silences. Not sure if that would help in this boss fight. Increases enemy defense. That's also not a bad one to just do. Just throw it on there. Like these one offs might be fine. Like decrease magic and defense. I could just use now, actually. Maybe that would be useful. Because otherwise I'm never going to use these. Because we're just going to use uh, the three all stat downs over these ones. So I guess it wouldn't hurt to try. So we should be fighting Rita Repulsa here. Look! There! It's the Dark Stone. But why? Yeah, there are a lot of enemies to debuff here, so using a couple eyes here wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Although these are not the main heads, so I'm not going to worry about them necessarily right now. When the main head comes, I'm going to apply all my debuffs that I can. Hmm... Why don't you magic up? I don't think I need anything else here at the moment. Yeah, this should be fine. We'll tell her to just spam Lucent Beam. There we go. There's Rita Repulsa. Now we, now we can apply our debuffs. Uh, why don't you... Lower... Come on, let me target the real one. Lower defense and... Lower attack? Oh wait, did I not equip the other one? Oh, I did, it's there. It's time to conquer Earth, yeah, pretty much. Actually, okay, so she's able to one shot those, which is kind of huge. So now we just need to spam. This should do a lot of damage. Well, the AI is actually being confident. Wow, AI's actually being good? What's happening? This boss is getting destroyed. Look at the health. Gem bonked. Uh, 
uh, boost my damage a little more. Oh, the other heads revived, I think. Oh. Come on. Oh, please don't die to this. Oh, the sound effect, please. What is that sound effect? Holy game, please. That's a choice. Oh, I'm dead. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's kind of the downside about hard mode. Like, I could be winning the fight and then, like, if my allies can't pop those, I just kind of die. It's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, like, I don't think I did anything wrong. I just I just couldn't get our allies to fight the thing, so we died. Like, I don't know. Do, do you, to me, that's not kind of an exciting difficulty. And sadly, Charlotte didn't live. She's the only insurance we have against that from happening. Because I think we did completely fine. Like, I literally comboed that thing out of existence. And I'm not even that low level. I'm, fi I'm 53. So what we're going to do is... Why don't you buff yourself again? And then you can buff... Me. And then you can buff me again. Because the problem... Oh! Oh, that's a problem. I forgot I didn't save with our other things applied. That's actually really annoying. Oh, I don't have the light claws now. Man, I hate that so much. I lose my stride by having to restart. Unfortunate. So now I don't have the light element for this boss. I'm just gonna make it take forever. Uh, I'm just gonna use it. Why didn't anyone tell me there was another one of these? So we still have magic ups. We have regular strength ups, which is fine. Unfortunate. Could you stop? Thank you. Please tell me they didn't revive again. That would be really bad for us if they did. Actually, I could do something like this. I mean, I could still, like, stack on the damage. I could see, like, I could really wreck this boss if I need to. possible to skip that attack altogether. I'm on the job. Oh, I think it's not gonna work. I almost skipped that attack. Alright, let's focus on attack up then. Here we go. 
Maybe this will kill. Come on. Yeah, maybe I have to do this so that I can have a chance. Please attack this. Okay, so that time I was able to do it because I didn't get hit by the demon. Goodbye. But anyway, now that I didn't get cheesed by the it's the death attack, GG. Yeah, it's like I did really good canceling on the other boss, so just unfortunate I got interrupted by the Demon Lord via random attacks and I just lost, GG. And spells don't seem to be able to shatter that in a purely spell-based party. The dark stone reappearing in this realm must have triggered the portal to the sanctuary. Oh no. It was a trap. Huh? Our enemies absorbed the powers of each of the eight Benevadons after we defeated them. Oh, that means they have the complete combined powers of all the monsters. No way! Ugh, I can't believe we were playing right into their hands. Ugh, I am not going to let them get away with this. What are you all waiting for? Let's go! Okay. So let me do this so that way it doesn't forget that I did this last time. So now... I went defense down, generic magic downs, all stat downs. Honestly, healing has not really been important with this team. I'm going to replace the chocolate with that. And I just need to make sure I have light element instead of dark. I think we're okay. I think we got basically everything covered, so I don't need to do that again. So she's one level away from learning Feated Breath, which will be useful. Her level ups don't matter. I can now do Magic Boost all. Which I do feel like our magic damage was pretty good. I guess I could do... Remove one of the basic counters. Or you know what? I could get rid of break armor. Honestly, I don't think this really matters versus bosses. So let's just boost everybody's damage by a little bit. The enemy has other elemental weaknesses, kind of, oh, whoa, whoa. Why'd it pull out like that? Oh, that chest is actually really hard to see. Speaking of which, I just want to make sure. I have enough chips, right? I restock those. Oh, yeah, we're at 50. We're good. So yeah, only a few bosses left and then we're gonna beat the game then i'm we'll decide about post game content if i feel like doing it so i'd probably like to get one level just so that she gets better spells on charlotte angela's levels don't man matter duran's level no longer matters so let's see what this unique area is like There shouldn't be a little cactus here. There isn't. Good. Wait for me, mother. I'll save you. I'm on the job. Watch out. Wow, 
Oh, she just dumpstered that wizard. this it is it normally like that hold on i feel like leaving and coming back it did they is that like a glitch spell or is that like actually the train they're going for with that jarring color i just want to know so we're gonna leave and come back Yeah, I love that Trials of Mana could be summarized by, oops, we did everything the villain wanted. Oh, so it was glitched. Yeah, it was glitched. Nice. I think Doppelganger ended weirdly or something. That's all I can think of. Finally, triple XP. I was waiting for that. So we're about to do a boss fight. I guess I'm okay with. Most of my meters looking pretty good. Don't keep me Come on. Oh boy, Jant. Now for the Dragon Lord filter or whatever. Impressive. But you may not proceed. Give up, Duran. The Dragon Lord has never been more powerful. You don't stand a chance. You think you can tell me what to do, huh? <laughs> don't act like you know me. You don't know anything. I ain't running away from the monster that killed my dad. You still don't know who I am. I am Loki, your father. Dun, dun, dun. What are you saying? That doesn't make any sense. My father died during the fight with the Dragon Lord. During the fight, I was plunged into the abyss. The Dragon Lord saved my broken body with his dark power. Now I live to serve him. Come. Come to me, my son, for I have missed you, Duran. Dad? Duran! Don't go! You tricked me! Not so. I merely wanted to extract your soul to grant you dark power as well. Now, come with me. There you go. What a loving father. You couldn't be my father. He was strong and kind. You're nothing like Loki. The Golden Knight. <laughs> come to the dark side, pretty much. But if that is your wish, I cannot let you live. Oh, we get the sad music as we're about to dump on father. Father's about to receive an ass whooping chat. Behold, 
the Dragon Lord. Power of darkness. Uh oh, he teleported. I was wondering where he went. Cute, I guess. You cannot hope to become strongest. Shut it! I ain't gonna rely on darkness. So he's attack down. Did the other stat thing go through? I hope it did. There should still be a lot of meter. Uh, let's blast him with. Oh, I didn't learn Gremlin yet. Oh no, I did. Uh, Father, I'm over here. I want to aim a little better. And I just say we are dumping on him. Ooh, he died to Angela Melee. That's shameful. I think we could agree, chat. That's shameful. When you get out meleeed by Angela, GG. The back to back. Blowing the kiss, GG. He got styled on. No, 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 no. Dad, why? My son. Dad. My boy. You've grown up so strong. Strong enough to free my soul from the Dragon Lord's curse. Be on your guard. He is more powerful than ever before. Curses. Curses, chat. I have to go, Duran. Do not stray from the Swordmaster's path. Your sword is a reflection of your soul. Never lose yourself. Dad, wait. Dad, I won't waver. Dragon Lord will not get away with what he's done. He and the Crimson Wizard are through. And we'll stop them. And I'll make you proud. Mom. And Dad. Let's go. I don't know why that last line he delivered a little awkward with the pose with Mom and Dad there, but otherwise probably one of his better performances. Um... I don't think my level ups matter anymore. No. We were one level away from getting Demon, which would have been a big damage increase. And I guess the rest just goes to Intelligence for damage. Unless they have Spirit raising summon damage again. I really don't remember. I don't think it matters either way, though. To be honest with you. Spirit will definitely raise healing amount if I want to. I'm on the job. Uh oh.
So let's see what this ability looks like. Or there'll be so many graphics I can't tell. I could kind of see Demon briefly there. Uh-oh, we have Pick a Path? Why is there a Pick a Path here? We're basically at max level, so I don't think I super care about what the enemy does at this point. So Durin's ability to counter only really matters if I let the AI play him, because I tend not to get hit too often. Okay. Nice dodge. It should hit the Black Knight. Didn't break his shield though, which sucks. Did you do your demon attack here? Just want to see what it looks like. Okay, so that's like Dark Force. That's not too bad. Money's pretty pointless that I really don't want to fight two knights at a machine. I don't care how close I am to leveling. This seems like a waste of time. Time and effort not well spent. I'm on the job. Get out of my way before I break you. That was pretty much the perfect AoE, honestly. I like that. It's over, chat. Another class seed. Golden item seeds, which I don't think could yield anything of interest at this point. I mean, I could just cookie up if I want to. We are at the end of the game, I guess. There are multiple ways to lower the magic defense if I need it. Not sure what our goal is other than to go deeper. Poor Frost Dragon. Wow, we got, we got so much class gauge out of that. That's very silly. Nice. Wait, did she just love Typhoon and whiff completely? Oh, that actually hit from there? Wait, I didn't realize it could go that far away. That's kind of crazy, actually. I'm gonna do that to interrupt his ability. Such power chat. That's such a useful ability to stunlock them. Her damage is terrible, but the stunlock utility is real. Yeah, Angela seems like you have to spend a lot of time to make her usable. Like, she's somewhat good at, like, random enemy clear, but man, she just cannot survive bosses at all. So I think if I was playing higher difficulties, I wouldn't bother using her at all. I'd probably play Hawkeye with Rogue. Because he's got more health, and he... seems to do a 
about the same amount of damage and doesn't care about enemy weakness. Okay. I mean, if we get a boss fight here, it doesn't really matter to me. I have everything I need. Oh, you're back. Well, that's awkward. I don't have your weakness. I think I literally just don't have that thing's weakness at all. Let's just use Lucent Fiend. Um... Please don't walk forward and melee it. I don't think I really want to use the Shadow Eye on him, to be honest. Be stuff walking into melee range. I did. So you can see we're just racking up a million damage on this fight. I hope that comboed. I don't think it did. Oh! I wasn't expecting him to knock it out. This boss is getting destroyed. GG chat. Died to the kiss. The shame kill. Goodbye, Jewel Beast. I knew there's like one reoccurring boss that happens. Like last time we fought the uh, full metal hugger crab. I think we can agree. That was pretty one-sided. Okay, pause this the timer at least when I'm in the menu. That's what I wanted to know. Um... So we'll do Intelligence and Spirit Max, I think, no matter what here. I don't think it really matters which I do. I'm on. Come on. Oh, there's two more stars. Hmm. Do I have two more bosses to go through? I'm not entirely sure why we had to go that way. That's fine. Also, does Evil Gate... Um, Evil Gate's magic attack and defense sound, never mind. Or not Evil Gate, the uh, Fetid Breath. Which is fine, we now have a way to fast clear normal encounters. Yeah, that attack right there. I wonder if she somehow got hit out of it or something. Because before it was just stuck in the Earth animation. Ooh. Oh, I so badly want to go out of bounds. Can I do anything with my allies in the way? Not quite. Oh, I so badly want to go out of order here. But he won't get enough height, sadly. Unless I could somehow push them in the way. No, that's not good enough. 
Yeah, I'm not getting extra height there. That's so sad. Wow, putting him in the poison pit is really low, I'm not gonna lie. I think we have immunity to that on at least. Nice triple hit. This should kill him. Rainbow item seed. I mean, I definitely want to level before the boss. Free stats are free stats. And I need my CS gauge as high as possible on Durin. So we need to be at least 300. So he could do his main ability. Okay, that should be good enough. fight from leveling. I'm not gonna let a bad guy have his way. So sad. This feels like another boss arena. Still have Shadow Eye. I should be able to be beat this boss in three minutes. Oh! Speaking of which, we're fighting you as well. I thought we... Oh, uh, that's fun. No effect. Oh, your weakness is darkness? Oh, you're so done. Sadly, I don't have darkness claws on. Let's do demon into darkness spam. I don't think I have another dark spell. Yeah, just evil gate. Oh my god, he's getting absolutely bodied right now. Holy. We're gonna jam bonk him. Welcome, Sarah. Hope you're doing well. The bonk is coming. Ooh, the damage of the bonk is out of control. I think this fight's over, chat. GG. GG, he got bonked. Rip full metal hugger. That was convincing. GG boss.
That's a lot of levels. Thank you, Mythic Cookie. Uh, I think Charlotte still needs training. We'll put her in at max, and then the rest will go towards Spirit for healing. Which I think is fun. And whatever leftover points she has, we'll save if we want to do the extra content. I wish for this, if I was here, for example, I wish while it was Durant I could have assigned moves for uh, Angela on him, so that way I could just have them spam the light spell over and over. So I hope for people that play the sequel, they decide to let you do that. So that probably would have been super useful. There are so many elements. There we go. I don't think I need to level anymore. I think we're good. So we have one more boss. And I still have two super debuffs left, right? Yeah, I didn't use the Shadow Eye yet. So I could still use Batmo Eye and the other one if I need to. Which we'll get rid of once I super incense, I think. So we'll wait till we're like another 90 seconds or so in. Mostly vertical level. Well, that's very suspicious. Let's just go ahead and pop it now. And if we need to, we can lower their defense with this. Again, we're just trying to build up some class meter so that way we can one shot the bosses like that. And the more that Durin has, the better. Almost 300% across the board, that's super good. So as long as I don't burn any here, we should be ready for another boss. So even if the AI burns meter, I have a long time to get that meter back. Night cycle. What a troll. So, if we had gotten triple XP there, that would have been it. So, we're at basically max meter. It would be the game's best interest to not have us have a boss fight. The harpy is back. Okay. That is kind of an annoying fight. But, uh, I don't think it matters. Whoa. That was a weird load. Uh, let's do... Magic up into... I guess Lucent Beam into... Strength up. Like how she's complaining we already fought this enemy. Like, like, don't draw attention to it, right, chat? Like, it's bad enough. Guess I could do the generic stat down. This is such a strong lockdown chat. I mean, look at this. Well 
Oh, I think I got jammed off the land. That's actually huge. And she got one shot. Oh, there were CS jars. This fight would have been over. Oh, this boss is actually dead, GG. boss got bonked again. It's so lucky it had no CS jars, chat. The fight would have been over, because I could have changed another long animation if we just got one jar. So now we just have raw stats on our sides. So now Angela, or not Angela, now Charlotte's healing's at pretty much max. I feel like her healing's already fair enough. So now we just gotta leave. So is it possible to come up this way, I guess? Doesn't feel like it so far. Yeah, I think this is too awkward to scale. Unless there's like that magic angle. Yeah. Oh well, it's worth a try. Would have been an interesting zip to save time versus the boss. In the meantime, I could just do tight turns. Come here, AI partner. Can you let me get this? Not quite. Oh well. It will go forever unattained. We need to get our CS gauge up. I think that's the only prerequisite for false map. Fast boss battles at this point. Just don't go in with zero CS. Is even 200% meters pretty big for us? Oh, now you triple XP? It's a little late for that. Right, chat? Just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna get my meter up to 300% on Durin, and then I think it's GG. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about our meter. Goddess skills? What's that? Item used to reset back to class one. Oh, so we could reset our class if we want to now. Interesting. This is the first time I think we've required that item. Okay, so I'm at max meter. It'd be nice if we leveled. Oh, there's a jar for meter there regardless. Uh... Oh, she's silenced? Let's cure that. That could be a problem if we're in a boss battle and can't do anything. Stay focused. I'll leave that jar there. So if the game wants to have a boss battle, we're at 400% meter. There we go. So the penultimate boss will get our all stat down for sure. You have made it far, but you are too late nonetheless. Thanks to you, the Dragon Lord will transform into his final complete form. Using the combined powers of all eight Benevadons. I don't care who I'm up against. 
I won't back down. You're all finished. Give me back my mother. Oh, unfortunately, that's impossible. You see, once the Dragon Lord is fully reformed, I'll offer the true queen's life force to him. She will be a suitable sacrifice to my master. You wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't, really? Oh, 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 my. You are a rude bunch. It is of no consequence, though. There is nothing you can do now. Submit to the end of the world. Farewell. He loves teleporting. Oh, this is what you're having me fight? Not quite the same threat level, right chat? Just a little bit. Oh, I was worried she was going to burn meter. How much I could do about that. Oh, it's a boss arena style thing. Okay, that's not as bad then. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. You won't sacrifice my mother, who's a terrible person and left me to die. She's totally worthy. You can't, like, do that. <laughs> right, chat? I'm just keeping her meter high. So again, defeated breath, lowering magic resistance. It's kind of nice for this thing. Oh, these enemies are straight up getting stunlocked. We have the blue jar I left behind. I might use that to fix our CS at the end. Yeah, see, we're almost at 300% across the board. Let's max her healing and also magic resistance. Since Spirit, I think, is magic resistance now in this game. I think they standardize some things. But more importantly, it's better healing. And then the rest of my stats don't matter. I'll save them for now. She's just so likable. Exactly, champ. Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good training point-wise. On the plus side, if we play post-game, Angela is ready to just instant max intelligence. Is there going to be a save point at some point, or...? I mean, I like I know I'm kind of cruising through, but I, I would like to save the game at some point. No, we're just going to keep going? Okay. You, ah! <laughs> save point! Why do you tease me? I want the save. That's just rude. Can't even open that. Let's let you, like glitch through. Which I don't think it's worth it. Get out of my way before I break you. So now the enemies are one level below us. So since I'm over leveled, I might as well just keep moving. Which is easy to do when you get triple XP randomly. We got a fairy walnut. Don't really care about these enemies. I want to preserve our CS. Okay, there's a statue down there, so I can afford to fight this. Just to max our meter. So what I could do is this to ensure that they don't use meter. Uh, why didn't you loosen the beam? Hello? I definitely told you to do that. Why are you holy bolting? Whatever. Okay, this should be very one-sided. We've gone up six levels, which is very silly. Chat like it be dodging the encounters. Get out of here. We're not doing encounters. Oh, this one, this is going to be a little rough. I might not get past this one. I think I'm gonna get in a fight here. Watch out. Unless. Oh, can't escape. Oh, 
I'm gonna do this to break all their shields. I feel like that's worth the meter. Okay, so our CS is maintained, which is the only thing I really care about. Oh, seriously? Back-to-back -back battles? Game is making sure that we're all leveled. Uh, that was a bad cross cut. I'm like at one target. Okay. So now it's. Right before the final boss, so we have one Shadow Eye for the final boss. Is there anything else I want to equip stat-wise? We're going to lose our buffs to the XP and money, which we don't care about money. Um... I don't think most of these change... I, I guess I could use Poto Oil in case I need to heal with the other character. I don't think I need most of these. We still have Light Claws. I could try to get another element if I'm not sure what they are. Could do silencing the enemy, maybe could be useful. Well, actually, before we do that. Okay, I think that's good prep for the boss battle. Full heal and restored her MP. Stop! Give me back my mother! That's a goofy helmet. <laughs> you never learn. <laughs> None of this matters in the end. But as you are all present, feast your eyes on the dawning of a new age as I become a god. See, he looks more like a Loki. has been absorbed by the sword. It has now corrupted it beyond recognition. Now that power is mine. The Dragon Lord will rise again. Venerable Master, you have surpassed even the goddess of mana herself. You are more than a god. You are a supreme god. Uh, my lord? of mana that useless weakling how can she still be alive fine if she wishes for death i shall destroy the goddess at her source the tree of mana let us be off to the sanctuary please go on ahead my lord i will rid us of these pests I mean, where they could just both fight us Not at once, delay. then they could have probably won. Anyway, he's just gonna you poof away. Of me? You think you're so tough. You manipulated my mother and hurt my kingdom for too long. How dare you call yourself a wizard? Very well. You will soon understand how defenseless you are in the face of the power of darkness. I will show you myself. Using so unfortunately for him, I boost magic defense whenever I do this. I could go for the silence here. For evil? How could you after you Okay. 
Oh, did she just get petrified instantly? That sucks. Do you mind not spamming? Let's go for a stat down here. The Dragon Lord is generous to his followers. So doesn't seem to have any weaknesses. He would give you dark power beyond your imagination. Okay, this will allow me to spam. Please use your stat down item. The game's trying to have this big dialogue and I'm like, listen, I'm gonna just keep pause menuing. Sorry for people that want to hear the lore. I'm going in. Ooh, he teleported right as I did that, but I still hit him. Oh. Wow, he teleported, but it didn't matter. That's embarrassing. Oh boy, chat, big damage time. Why are they not attacking? Hello? Or are they dumb? Rhetorical question, of course they are. So we lost a big opportunity for damage. Our allies just didn't attack. Oh, is that all he's gonna do? Then he's gonna lose then. Allies, can you please help? Allies, can you please help? Jeez, that was unnecessarily close. There we go. He got bonked. <laughs> Again, just me soloing those feels really bad. Would have been nice if they helped with that. I cannot be defeated. Not when I have all the dark power my master gave me. No, this is not over yet. Come on. Just stop. Your body won't last if you try to fight. Now, give me back my mother. When I was younger, I was unable to use magic. Ashamed at my own powerlessness and disgusted with my lot in life, I fled Altena. I traveled far and finally arrived at Dragon's Maw, the battlegrounds where the famed Golden Knight of Valsena fell to the Dragon Lord. There, I came across what remained of my master's body. But yeah, I don't know why he's back storing us. ...was not gone completely. His spirit spoke to me from that decaying body. He offered me a deal in exchange for half of my life force I was given control of the Dragon Lord's limitless power. However, my life force only served to partially revive him. But the Dragon Lord is infinitely cunning. He devised a plan to gain the powers of the Benevodons using the Mana Sword 
in order to regain his true form. Soon the Dragon Lord will be at full power. I only have half my life as it is. The dark power given to me can't replace what he took of my life force. I will never be whole. <laughs> is there even a reason to go on? Don't be stupid. Of course you should keep on living. Who knows what might be waiting for you in the future? Actually, no, just die. Right, chat? <sighs> Thank you. Angela. <sighs> How could he? Wow, we were deprived of the kill. That sucks. Dark power drove him to this. It's sad, but we don't have much time left. Is it sad? We have to get back to the sanctuary and protect the goddess. She's still in danger. Is it though? The tree of mana dies. Mana dies with it. We don't have the sword anymore, but we can't give up. Please, I need you to help the goddess of mana. Oh no, the genocider. He died. It's so sad. <laughs> he only killed several kingdoms and ruined the world's mana. Oh, boo hoo. <laughs> like, seriously? That is not the character you could give him a sob story to. I'm sorry. So what's the new ability we got from him? Recover 10 MP for every 5 seconds in battle. Oh, that's funny. It's sad because we say it's sad. You're right. That's a pretty broken ability for like a new game plus. Then you could actually play Angela with infinite mana. Which would mean... I could get rid of the one where I use MP for that and switch it for that one. Because eventually she would just get it back. I guess that would work. So just one thirty percent -er. Oh, there's, there's Mother. Anything I want to do before we confront Mother? Got a little bonus stats here and there. This is probably the most spread build we've had so far. It's just a shame that, like, nothing was worth upgrading in stamina. Like, we got the extra health, so I guess it was kind of worth it to get it. I guess. Speaking of characters, I don't feel bad about if they die. Mother. Angela? Oh, where are we? Oh. Have you been skipping Jose's lessons again? My dear, you shouldn't antagonize your loyal subjects. Remember, you will be queen of Altena someday. I know that it's hard, especially if magic doesn't come easily for you. But you can take all the time you need to learn it. True queen. Pray to the goddess of mana every day, asking for her blessings so that you may learn magic faster. Mother. Oh, mother. What's wrong, Angela? There's no need for you to cry. Oh, but please introduce me to your friends. Alexis like doesn't even have a name. I also like to think she had a psychotic break like the Suikoden in Five Queen. Oh, oh, we just get back? I cannot believe something so horrible has happened. I don't remember any of it. How could a queen allow such madness? Even if I was being controlled, the idea that I would try to sacrifice my own daughter is terrifying. I am thoroughly ashamed. Please forgive me, Angela. No, I... It's okay, Mother. You're still the true queen, and your people love you. I love you. Please, continue to rule over Altena fairly, as you always have. We have to go to the Sanctuary of Mana now, and fight the Dragonlord. But 
I'll see you when this is over, Mother. Thank you, Angela. You must go to the sanctuary without delay. The portal is sealed shut for all but you three and your fairy companion. It is up to you. Please be careful and return to this realm safely. Oh no, Chow is so used to calling her Queen Ashtray, they forgot her name. <laughs> um, I think it's... Arshtot. There's definitely an R in the beginning. So I guess we'll just go beat the game now. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> It's kind of funny how that kind of works out with that name. Well, Chad, we have one ability left to get in the game. There's no time. We have to save the mana goddess. How dare the... Now, the only question is... If the MP triggers immediately or not. If it doesn't trigger immediately, it might be worth uh, saving some MP. Oh, no, Chad. Chad, I got some really bad news. I really want to go out of bounds here. <laughs> we, we might have a really long tangent again. I really want to go out of bounds. We're, we're going to save the game. No. No. Sanctuary of mana. Yeah, yeah. Sanctuary of mana. This was the Dragon Lord's doing. That coward. We gotta go to the mana goddess. <laughs> Chat love me just not paying attention to the plot. I'm like, listen, we're getting these items. You can do whatever you want, game. Oh, guys, so I might have some upgraded armor at least. So I think that was new stuff that I didn't have before. I think she got her. Oh, she didn't get her upgrade. Oh, and I accidentally left, left her with half moon damage on. Whoops. I'm surprised she didn't die more often, to be honest with you. I guess I'll make her immunity to poison is useful. So he got Guard Helm, which is a big defense increase. We got a better shield, which I apparently didn't equip. Not that it matters. This to showcase how pointless gear is in this game. We have three Juggernauts for some reason. So she got the defense increase. Okay, I mean, I feel like Charlotte's probably the tankiest between all of them, but that's fine. Alright, chat. Let's see how broken we can make the game. Hold on. Detour time. What's different about the terrain here is the question. Can we still do this? Oh, the trees are more... Are they more wilted? Or does it matter? Oh, <gasps> Can you not do the zip in this one? <gasps> oh, no! I'm gonna have to learn a new zip location? Or maybe not. Hold on. Oh, that would make me so sad. Don't make me learn new tricks. Oh, no! They changed the tree, chat. It doesn't work. I don't know what they did, but it's not working. I know, how dare they? Hmm. It doesn't mean I can't zip on something else, though, so let's progress a little further. Ooh, that is a very interesting triangle. Can I zip on this one? Or can I just walk up this one? Hmm. Why does he not want to attack? I'm hitting jump and then attack. Game, please. Please register inputs when I use them. Huh. Well, this feels weird and dirty. How do I do what I need to do then? There has to be a way to go out of bounds here. Terrace Pharma, indeed. What nonsense. We'll kill these things real quick and we'll explore a little bit. I'm determined to go out of bounds. I just have to rethink things. Take this. 
Although I might refill with my drink since we're probably going to be going on a big tangent. Hmm. So, like, if I can get on this stone pillar, we're good. I just don't know how to do it with what we have here. Hmm. I'm feeling out the invisible walls a little bit, see if anything changed. So we can get height off of this, but I can't reach it from there. Hmm. So I need to... We're going to look around in a little bit. So here's what I'm going to do, chat. Unless this is like an instant zip, I'm going to take like a five minute break. And then we'll beat the game at some point. So let, let's take a small break here. So we're going to have to reanalyze this area because it's different. So let me go get a drink. I will be right back.
Okay, chat, I'm back. Let's continue. So basically, we're looking for... I guess a tree to zip up, because the other one doesn't work. I'm going to try one more time. And then we're going to look for a new tree. Well... It kind of still works. They nerfed my tree. I'm so sad. Yeah, this one does not feel like I could do it anymore, which is so sad. We spent so much time on that tree. So it is possible to launch off of that one. But I just... Before I spend a lot of time on that tree, which we could probably find an angle for, are there any other trees that look like obvious candidates? We're getting wedged. Hmm. Ooh. Maybe? Maybe. No. Unless I could get a good angle. Game, please. This is the tree I think we used to launch originally, right? Oh, Angela, you need to not be there so I can test it. Stupid Angela. This game and not doing the attack moves is driving me wild. Yes, if we could zip off of this one, this would be huge. The problem is our allies keep walking where I'm trying to test. Which makes this harder to do than normal. Game, please let me zip. Please do your dash attack, you're killing me. Why is he no longer- what is going on? <laughs> what? Why is he not doing this attack now? Am I doing it too quickly? Well, now you're sort of behaving. Maybe I gotta slow it down more. Man, it's so easy to hook them into this. Please go away. I still haven't gotten a good angle on this thing. It's actually kind of frustrating. So I can gain height off of this. But I don't know if I could get enough height with Durin. Why is he not doing the thing? Do the thing! Just do dash attack. Come on. This is so dumb. This is way harder than this should be. I don't know why he's refusing to do it. I'm not doing anything different than how I normally do it. Big confusion point, chat. So I guess from that standpoint, if we can't use this tree, which looks like it should do it, I don't know where else we would go for it, unfortunately. Hmm. As I tried off at this tree, and it gives us some height. Why am I not getting this? So, like, we clearly go really high off of this tree, but it's, like, not good enough. Sadly. So this could be a Kevin only out of bounds, sadly. See, he's, like, just barely not getting enough height. So it's like, if I could get more height on this one, this would be good. Why is he not doing the thing? Why is he not doing the thing? What is going on? <laughs> there is some trick to this that I'm not getting. Why, like, I'm not changing my timing at all. He just sometimes just refuses to attack. Because, like, I could do the thrust most of the time without too much of an issue. Or at least get an attack. But he just refuses here for some reason. This makes this way harder than it should be. Oh, come on. Nope. He doesn't seem to be able to get height off of this, which is sad. He gets height this way. So maybe it's possible if I aim it more towards here, he'll zip. If he'll do the stupid dash attack. Why is this so difficult? I'm getting tilted. Why is he not attacking? I promise you, Chad, if you see my inputs, I'm doing like 
Jump attack. Jump attack. And I'm not even seeing him attack, which is tilting me. I at least want to see the attack come out and not get the dash attack. That way I have validation that I'm at least doing it like too late or something. So yeah, I'm trying to test this tree, but it just refuses with Durin. Can I do it with Angela at all? See, that gives her a lot of height. So like, if I could do it with her, he would get way more height than she does. The problem is like, he just doesn't seem to want to do it. And I'm not sure why. As you saw, she went really high up. But there, there must be some, like, magic angle that makes this work. Hmm. It's such a shame, because I, I have a feeling we probably could just beat the game this way. I'm gonna try this tree again. Oh, that looked like that should have been good. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. So the other tree doesn't work, but this one does. That's fine. Okay, so we're out of bounds. There we go. Fell down the gap. So if it's anything like the previous one, this should all be real. But is the floor over here real this time? That's the real question. Is that real floor? It... It could be. Oh, it's real. Wait, hold on, chat. Hold on, chat. Treat. It's real. Oh, this is promising. Okay, where do we go? Um, I'm just gonna follow the terrain. Oh, that looks. That looks like a very dangerous drop. I feel. I feel like that's not real down there. Can I make it to the other side? Oh, that's so. Oh, that's so risky. Man, Chad, I hate making risks when we're like this far. We did see something we're not supposed to. So here's what my thought process is. Somewhere in front of us is real floor. The question is, where is the real floor? I imagine it's between these two broken things where my head is. We're gonna try to go for it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I, I'm now scared. Okay, we we made progress. Where's where's the real floor? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, so the question is, where do we go back towards the level? Also, this means missing little cactus, which I find is funny. So the our goal is over there. So d do we walk up the side here? That's what I'm finding myself asking. Yeah, it's just like, I'm trying to just, I guess I'll just keep going this way until she falls. Yeah. So far, this is going okay. And there's no reason to risk it. We've gotten this far. I'll take it slow. We don't know what's real. We don't know what's not. I can't see her very easily there. We're going to keep pushing her around. Going to be our little wall. Okay, so it's going well. The problem is, from here... Where do we go? Do we go straight or do we follow the wall? I mean, ideally, I'll just go in a straight line. Let me let me move Angela just in case something weird happens. So we're just gonna shove her along the floor. We're gonna just we know there's those fake pits. So I'm gonna try not to go too quickly here, but this is very promising. And if so, I got that in very few tries. I might not even edit that to be honest with you. Compared to the other hours of stuff that we did, this was very fast. So now, oh, we're so close. It's just the question is, like, where do we go inbounds here? Hmm. We could go towards the waterfall or keep going in a straight line. We have choices. I don't know what's real and what's not real. I guess I'll just keep going in a straight line until something else happens. Oh, day-night cycle. Don't scare me like that. Don't give me that jump scare. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> right, chat? So, so far, this is the most promising out of bounds so far. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, I don't like the camera angles. So, so far, we're fine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. We're really close. I think we're gonna do a chat. As long as I don't fall, we are really. Oh, she. Oh, I. I thought. I thought we pushed her into the void for a second. Okay, she's not in the void. She's hard to see. Oh, that was a little risky. That was a little risky doing the blind push. Okay, we're so close. <laughs> We're so close. We will bypass the entire dungeon if we do this. Come on. Oh, that cuts. Oh, that cutscene better grab us. I'm gonna be so sad if we get all this way and we can't get it in. Oh, we're so close. That trick was not that hard to do. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're we're so close. <laughs> you can see the cutscene. Come on. A little closer. Just need to know where the fake floor is. If it's here. It might all be real here. A little, a little scared. Yeah! Skip that dungeon. Take that dungeon. <laughs> Such a shame. The tree has withered completely and the goddess of mana is no more. I see you are becoming weaker and weaker without the Tree of Mana. Understandable that fairies would perish along with the tree since they are born from it. I will now bring havoc and ruin to the world and usher in a new age of darkness with me as the Supreme God. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's always no, funny. Fairy. That's how I know she's part of the team. She got slapped. <laughs> what a fool. Do you yearn for death that badly? Wait. I remember a fairy that met a similar fate. She was with that silly prince of Balsena and his useless knight. I was caught unaware by the Golden Knight's foolish attack, and we both fell. It took me so long to regain my strength, but now... I am the strongest of the gods. No one alive can surpass me. Behold, this is my true form. United through slaps, exactly. Okay, let's see what he is. Makes sense the Dragon Lord becomes a dragon. <laughs> this is the final form of your new ruling god. Kneel and pray for a swift demise. You will all be sacrificed to me. Why does he sound like a Decepticon? Yeah, this is what happy this is what happens when Joey lets his uh Dragon get time wizard. Here and now. Even without the tree or mana power to help us, we will never give up. Not without a fight. Not as long as our hero, the chosen one of the mana sword, is here. Without mana, elementals and spirits may disappear from the realm. But you should not lose hope. You will be creating a new world for everyone. Come! You must stand up and fight! The future is in your hands! Whether you can see us or not, we'll be with you always. So keep fighting! You can't lose! Bit 
Megaphon. You have no chance. You cannot win without relying on the strength of the Sword of Mana. It is over for you all. Accept defeat. You're wrong! Don't you see? Even without the physical Mana Sword, as long as the Chosen One is here, the sword that lives in all of our hearts, that we call hope, will never disappear! Yeah, Angela d is has an unearned oh, protag role. I will destroy any sword you wield. You must understand how powerless you are against a supreme god. Now, kneel. Okay, let's see how hard this fight is. Well, you don't have a resistance to light, it seems, so you are in big trouble versus me. I don't know if it matters with what I'm targeting there. Is he almost dead already? I barely even did anything yet. Oh, this is kind of embarrassing for him. He's like lost a quarter of his health already. He's getting destroyed. He got dunked. GG. How? A supreme god cannot die. That was embarrassing. <laughs> Dead already? Dead already indeed. GG Chad, outplayed. I didn't even get to bunk him. That's how fast it was. I didn't get the real bunk. I dash attacked him though. End of the line. End of the line, indeed. Fairy. Thank you for never giving in to despair. But the tree of mana is dead, and mana has disappeared from the world. I can't exist without mana. We didn't know each other for long, but I treasured our time together. I won't forget any of you. No, don't go, Fairy. Please, don't worry about me. 
You were fighting for everyone's future, including mine. Thanks to your triumph, I will now be reborn as the new goddess of mana. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Classic Angela. You see, fairies are like the seeds of the mana tree. Once they find a worthy person, someone with a pure heart that they trust completely, that fairy can become the new tree and goddess of the mana in the world. To bring that mana, the mana we have lost, back into this realm. I must take the tree's place and sleep here in the sanctuary. It may yet take a thousand years for me to restore all of the mana. But if in a thousand years your descendants still remember the tree of mana, I will awaken. <laughs> I'm sure I can help them in their hour of need as well. But until I am needed in the future, I will remain here, asleep, quietly protecting the world, as this tree. This, this is where we part, my brave heroes. Farewell. May the sword of mana, the one that lives in all your hearts, shine on forever. I don't know why they thought Angela was pure heart. Oh, actually, hold on, chat. Will an ending be as bad as Kevin's? Take your bets now, chat. His was truly terrible. Charlotte! Oh, you are safe. I could never have faced your dearly departed parents if something had happened to you. I'm so relieved to see you unharmed. Heath himself managed to cure my illness. A vision of him came to me one night. He used forbidden dark magic to undo the curse and save me, sacrificing himself. Then he disappeared. I tried to stop him. There was no need for him to throw his life away for this old man's sake. But he wanted to atone for the darkness in his soul before it was too late. <laughs> Rip Heath chant. The goddess of mana saved me when I sacrificed my corrupted soul. I found myself lost in a dark abyss. But suddenly, a warm light rushed over me, and I heard the goddess speak. The goddess gave me what was left of her fairy life force and brought me back from the darkness. I would not be here if not for her. She saved my body and my soul. Charlotte, are you okay? <laughs> it's okay. I will not leave you again. Hey, don't cry. 
You know the goddess is looking at this and laughing. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she is. <laughs> like, what a bunch of idiots. Okay, that was ending one. Yeah, definitely laughing. Big brother! Duran! Oh no, Duran, little sister Wendy. You're back safe and sound. I'm just so so glad to see you. <laughs> I'm sorry I made you worry, Wendy. Stella it's over now you can tell me when you're ready but you should go to the castle and report back to his majesty The adventure. Your journey was difficult, but it had to be done. Now is not the time for sadness. Loki is alive inside you all. His soul is freed and with you always. Hmm? We do not have the goddess of mana to rely on to keep the world in balance anymore. Duran. You and your friends will take up the mantle as the new Golden Knights. Valsena will follow where you lead. The future is yours. I see. The trouble is, magic depends on mana, which means that without mana in this world, our powers are no more. My magic included, Altena will once more be plagued by the terrible cold of the surrounding area. We'll have to wear clothes. Don't worry, Mother. What difference does a little snow make? It's the elements against our people's fiery willpower. They all die of like hypothermia <laughs> the first first You're year. Correct. Our people are resourceful enough to withstand the cold even without our magic to lean on. Darn! <laughs> That line delivery got me. I wasn't ready. But I guess I found something more important than magic in the end. Ugh. What? Really? What'd you find? Uh, what are you staring at me for? Is there something on my face? <laughs> it's a secret! Run, Duran, run! I guess at some point I should go get the final cactus. I'm sure it's still there. Well, chat, you get another look at the voice cast, so you know who to blame.
credits yeah so i think after we're done with the credits we'll have a discussion with chat what they would like to do next if thursday will be the last we see of trials or not I figure we might as well as do the post-game content for this game, but in terms of if we start up one more playthrough to be determined. Chris with the neutral response. I'll leave it up to the chat. The next game we're playing, no matter what, doesn't really matter, will be Legend of Mana. I do need a day to set it up. I know to, as of today, right now, it's not set up because our other PS3 died. It was set up properly on the other PS3 before it kicked the bucket. But I gotta go just make a quick save, save file for each of the games associated with it before I begin. So no matter what, we wouldn't be starting it this week. Kirk shrugging. Come from the neutral planet from Tutorana. I have no strong feelings one way or the other. That reminds me, I think there's a clip of that that was on YouTube for the longest time that had exactly even votes of likes and dislikes. It went on for years, and sadly they hid the dislikes. I would just move on, says in Parameter. And there we go. So, so far, it's voting for this is the final time we'll see Trials outside the post-game. <laughs> Maybe Lugar is one of the dumbest plot points of all time. Can't tell me otherwise. I t the, the karate there is just so stupid. I, th I think that scene encapsulates all that's wrong with Kevin's ending. Just one, one scene of everything all at once. So, so saith the chat. I think tomorrow I'll do a beginner run off stream just to get some sound clips. Bring Kevin alive is arguably dumber. The karate is pretty special, yeah. It's definitely very exclamation mark special. So then I guess on Thursday we'll uh, beat the post game, we'll give our final thoughts. And the week after that will be uh, the start of our Legend of Mana run. I have to see if I still have a uh, transfer memory card for that. Because I used to have like a USB. Because I do have some backup saves, I think, on my laptop. That might have the Legend of Mana stuff set aside. So for those not aware, it uh, depending on what you have on your other memory card, it will add content to the game. So I want to play it with everything possible. So I used to have like the Chocobo Racing plus Final Fantasy VIII plus Soccer Frontier 2. And I do want to play Soccer Frontier 2 at some point on stream. So we'll see. If not this year, it'll be next year. Because that's been on the list for a while. Because we'd probably do like the three Legends games, Saga Frontier 1, Saga Frontier 2. I'm not going to do every possible Saga game because I think that would drive me wild. They're known for notoriously being unbalanced and jank. And some are quite atrocious. Kind of like the Mana series. 
We're, we're stopping before we go into the weirder quasi 3D awkwardness of the PlayStation 2 era. This one being the exception because it's a remake of the SNES game. So we'll probably need a poll for after Legend of Mana is completed. So definitely for people interested in doing that, we I'm going to formally put that there. So I'll probably still add the Final Fantasy Legend Saga series. Probably put Rune Factory, Etrian. And I'm not sure what I would offer after that. But if there's any series you recommend, chat, let me know. You got a couple of weeks before I would consider adding the vote. Because I'll let the vote sit there for like a month. Easy. There we go. Official credits. We did it. QA manager. I'm so sorry. We broke your game. <laughs> right, chat? I'm so sorry. Don't witness our playthrough. It's for the best. QA manager do your job better. I mean, there's so many things they have to test. The main game at least felt stable. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that person's name was God Handia. I was like, what what an, what what a last name. Although honestly, that name in general is pretty ridiculous. So yeah, I think since we have nothing better to talk about, I normally don't talk about other stream plans when we're in the middle of credits, but I'm thinking for Friday after we beat uh, Dungeon Drafters, we'll try Fantasy Star Episode 3, because that's also a card game. I figured chat would probably be semi-interested in that. Yeah, there is a server for it. I have to check in the Discord. If anybody in the chat knows the details offhand, just put it in the Discord for later and I'll pin it. Yeah, I'm assuming it comes with the story mode. If, it, if it's just like free battles, I'm not interested. I don't want to do like tournaments and stuff like that. I just want to play through the story. Oh no, dot 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 and the game and the entire QA staff. I'm so sorry, QA staff. Also, don't witness the rest of this. Yeah, the uh, the person that is the admin, I want to say Matt, has episode three. And I know there's a forum post in Affinia in case I really need to hunt for it later. So I know it exists. I know it is active as of right now. I don't know what features it has. So I would have to look into that before I full commit. Yeah, Dungeon Drafters I don't see taking us more than a couple of weeks. I haven't decided if I wanted to hold off on Friday since it's the last week of PSO and just do PSO Friday. Or if uh, we'll just beat Dungeon Drafters. I imagine we're, th we're within five hours of beating Dungeon Drafters. Whether or not I want to explore all possible endings might extend that to maybe eight hours of gameplay, if I had to guess. So I'm assuming if we beat the tower, there might be a little mini thing after that. So that's where I'm expecting a lot of the five hours to be. Tower being like three hours. Thing after that maybe being two, two and a half. Either that or beating the tower is the end of the game. And it leads straight to the final boss. I'm not sure. But yeah, we're pretty close on Dungeon Drafters. We, we, we took a long break from it, but I promise you we're going to get back to it. It, sh it should not take too much longer to beat. Plus we get to see the new card rebalancing. That'll be kind of exciting. And at some point, we'll be Secrets of Grind Dia chat. I'm, I'm waiting for more bug fixes. So probably in October, we'll revisit that for people that have the game. 
So feel free to brush up on it then. It'll be probably our September, October game. The end. It's an old Y to skip. Not gonna lie, I thought about it. Okay. I know it's gonna ask us about a save file at some point, presumably. Okay, <laughs> just, just it, it had to load the loadings bar. Uh, uh, what is this? Where am I? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, oh, I see. This world is. <laughs> Your bond with fairies granted you a new ability. Cover 2% and for all eyes every 10 seconds of battle. At some point, maybe. Sure, let's save the game again. So we have... Original save file. Before we beat the game. I don't think there's a reason f I don't think I'm gonna go back to any of these saves. So I think it's okay to overwrite these saves now. Because I, I don't think I'm gonna go back to the Mana Sanctuary to practice anything, especially if we're not gonna do another playthrough. So I think I'm just gonna save over this one for the sake of completion. Blinding white light, love to see it. Trials of mana. I want to see one. I pressed B. Why did B cancel? It said press B. I'm confused. Curiosity. If I do this, oh, can you only do it on New Game Plus? Oh, that's why. Players looking for challenge can try the newly added expert. No future. Alright, so we have to we have to fully beat the game to do this. Okay. So at some point I'll probably dupe the save file if I want to check that out, but I feel it I've been feeling for the most part I don't really want to see the higher difficulties. So let's chat a little bit. How do we feel the session went overall? Well, we finally got a really big clip out of bounds. So we used our knowledge of the first Mana Sanctuary to uh, skip that whole dungeon. We're probably going to beat it on Thursday and be done with the game based off of uh, the chat's interests. And yeah, I don't really have too much else to add. All the bosses were pretty easy. The only challenging boss outside of like the stupid do uh, door slash wall and the first ninja fight is probably the Dark Benevidon to get our allies to actually hit the stupid thing. And again, I feel like a lot of the difficulty is not like, oh, look at all these crazy attack patterns you have to dodge. It's more like, teammate too dumb to hit thing, get punished. The punishment is death. So, yeah, final boss was easy. Holy. That boss was dunked. <laughs> like, that boss actually got shut down. I think especially with their ability to class strike swap, we really, we really out DPS the boss when that happens. We had two characters with very, very, very long animations, and that just let Angela basically wail for several thousand damage during that class strike. Like, she out damaged the class strike because of how long the class strike took, but then the other characters were also building meter. I do think one thing that really holds this game back, I think, from being, like... For me, the game is very... It's just okay. I think what would have helped a little bit is why they chose not for this game to be multiplayer. Couldn't they have split-screen this? I feel like it would have been easy to do. It feels weird to me. I think this is the only mana game 
based off of the original ones anyway that doesn't have multiplayer that originally did like they removed multiplayer in this version of the game is that did exist on the SNES versions and it also exists for Legend of Mana so it feels a little weird to remove features that were in the originals but anyway Chan I guess this is how I view it for now I imagine the Legend of Mana remake is also similar in that sense where you can't very easily play multiplayer on it even with remote sharing due to how quirky that game is to begin with but anyway given that it was kind of menace thing it's pretty dumb to remove it yeah it especially feels bad because around the time this game came like hold on hold on chat we're gonna do a time check which came first lacrimosa or this game east Lacrimosa came out in 2016 and 2019 was this one. What was Trials? 2020. There's there's kind of not an excuse. I mean, chat, like, come on. Think about how good Lacrimosa felt. And even though I didn't like the plot, how good Monstrum was, like, from a feel perspective. Like, isn't it crazy to think that those games, like, this came out after those games? That's crazy. You would think watching this that this is like the predecessor to Lacrimosa. Wouldn't you have thought? I would have thought it would have been like 2016 for sure. So I'm just saying, chat, they had a I know, they had a lot of really good examples out at the time. So when we go to give our final thoughts, I'm gonna bring that up again. But it's true though, right? Like it isn't like East so much more polished in terms of like combat speed, flow, and everything else? Both games are obviously glitchy with Out of Bounds. <laughs> We're gonna call that- well, I mean, I'll, I'll say East is more broken Out of Bounds, but East is more fun Out of Bounds. I think that's where the difference is. There's the big difference. There's there's no taunt flight in this game. I know, where's where's my taunt flight? <laughs> right, chat? Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> I know. This game, this game is uh, automatically worse because it has no Sahad, exactly. So yeah, just keep that in mind, chat. Like, I want it to be fair, but it's like, this game is, like, not even that old. Because I saw 2019 and 2020, but, like... I'm just saying, chat, like, I don't know. Yeah, haha, <laughs> over here, haha, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, anyway, those are our final thoughts for the, how this session went, but not final thoughts for the game itself. So anyway, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching, and hopefully see you in the post-game.